OpenAI just launched a brand new image model and I wanna take it for a spin with you. Let's actually see if it's any good. I'll show you my first impressions, how to get the most out of it. Um, and let's see if it can actually get better output than Nano Banana Pro, which has been my daily driver for the last few weeks. So, uh, you know, what you want to do is you want to go to ChatGPT, you're going to want to click that plus button, you want to click the image button over here, and then it brings up a carousel, it looks like, of a bunch of different options of styles that you can do. 3D glam doll, that's kind of weird. Uh, ornament, I guess because the holiday seasons. Sketch, plushies. Um, I can see where I can use sketches on like as display pictures or, you know, can it work on not just faces, but actually like diagrams. Plushie is kind of cool. Let's start with that. So uh, it says, uh, plushie, try on a style on a new image. So these are, so I guess, some recent images uh, on my computer. Let's go ahead and do Sam Altman. So what it's doing here is it's actually creating an optimized prompt uh, for uh ChatGPT's new image model. So this is something that I've actually talked about on this channel before. I, I've talked about, I did a review of Glyph app, and that's something that they do. So they basically bring in a bunch of the uh, creative AI LLMs, and they optimize prompts so that you get the most out of Nano Banano Pro, uh, you know, Sea Dream, uh, Byte Dance's model, all these different things. Uh, so it's interesting that they've basically applied these optimized prompts uh, to um, to uh, chat GPT. Um, I think that the idea of creating a plush toy, if this works, would be awesome because I, you know, there's an opportunity to create CPG brands, toys. That's actually, wow, that is super, super, that is really cute. Um, that's actually way better than I expected. Uh, if we zoom in here, can we zoom in? Yep. You can just see like the details on that are really good. Uh, look at that hair, right? Look at his hair over there. You got that wave, and then you got that hair. You got that same wave. So, um, you know, I think a lot of people are going to be using these models to create CPG brands that probably, are, you know, going to make a bunch of money. So, uh, okay, I'm back. that actually beat my expectations, but um, I'm still a skeptical guy by nature. So let's continue uh, and see what else it can do. Um, let's try sketches. Let's do a sketch. So we'll choose choose a photo here. Will it bring up the recent photos? Yeah, there. So it's brought up some of the recent photos. Um, let's choo choose this one. So uh, that's a photo of me drinking a martini. You know, cheersing to you. Uh, and uh, as you you know, learn AI tools and just I'm rooting. I'm rooting for you on the sideline. So it's gotten created a optimized prompt. Uh, generate an image from the uploaded photo that reimagines the subject as an ultra detailed 3D graphite pencil skilled on texture white notebook paper. Uh, I wonder like how much of this is the new model is better or the prompts are just way more dialed. I guess it doesn't matter. All that matters to me is that there's an opportunity here to get better outputs. All I care about is great outputs because if I can get great outputs, that means you know, maybe better ads for some of my business. That makes uh, sometimes better content that actually can go viral. Uh, you know, it means like creating slideshows for Instagram on TikTok and stuff like that. If I can create more interesting images, then, uh, you know, the, the probability of success of my businesses go up. So um, ultimately, all I care about is the output. Um, I actually am curious, like I, I, you know, after I do this, I want to see if it can actually create a pencil diagram, uh, not just with a photo, uh, but like a, just like a diagram. Because sometimes I, I post on X uh, these diagrams that go mega, mega viral. Um, and uh, <laughs> I don't know, like this looks amazing obviously but like when i see the hand and it, like it feels i don't know about you but to me that feels a little ai this feels ai like i would remove can you remove the hand and remove the notebook just show it on a piece of paper like i feel like that would just look a little more natural so we're gonna see if 
uh, how this new model reacts to feedback in real time. Um, some of these image models ha are just, how do I say it politely? Like they just can't take feedback well. Um, so that's why I've been enjoying uh, Google's Nano Banana Pro uh, because I found that it has been able to take uh, a little more of that feedback. So let's see if this new model can take feedback uh, well via ChatGPT. And then after that, we're going to go and see if it can do just like a sketch drawing of something I'm telling it. Because if you see here, let me actually, I'll bring it up. On my X, I'll do these pencil drawings and they just rip. They absolutely rip. So it's just simple ways to showcase, you know, uh, a complex diagram usually. So this looks a lot better. I'll give it to them. This gives this looks a lot better, a lot better. Now let's go and see if this works with. Um, I'm going to take this diagram that I posted, which only got 621 likes. Usually these, if it was hand drawn, it would have gotten 2,000. Can you make this hand drawn, same style, a little more casual? Meaning it doesn't need to be perfect. I like natural hand drawn stuff. Also remove, actually I was going to say like remove this like weird pencil sharpening thing. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to say it. Also make sure there is no weird pencil sharpening stuff like you had in the top left in the man in martini image. So let's see if it could do this or if I needed to go back to chatgpt.com, hit the plus button again, and then actually go and do the sketch. So let's go ahead and, and see that. Because um, if it can do this, this is gonna make my life a lot easier. And, and I've actually, I've also paid people to actually go and, and do this before. So it says creating image, reaching for ideas online. Interesting. First of all, interesting that it's called reaching. I would have said like researching for ideas online, not like reaching. Oh, two, two. But again, all that matters to me is the output. I don't care how it works as long as the output is good. I'm a happy, happy camper. And I really do want these image models to be really good. Like we've gotten to the point where ChatGPT, Gemini 3, a lot of these LLMs, like from a text base, is just so, so, so good. Wow. Wow. So look at the original. Like, cool, but like, I used uh, AI to create this too. Um, but I felt it does feel a little AI y, and this just feels, this is beautiful. Like, you can see this ripping on IG. You can see that ripping on IG. So uh, impressed there once again, once again. But let's keep going. Um, let's keep going and see what else we can go ahead and create. Uh, doodles, art school, sugar cookie, dramatic, fisheye, bobblehead. Bobblehead could be interesting. Let's try that. Here is the updated photo for the bobblehead. Also, I don't want it to be in a baseball uniform. Make it in the style of what a YouTuber, tech YouTuber would wear, whatever that means. So we're gonna head and do that. I didn't wanna do a, you know, a baseball thing because I just feel like yeah, it's, you know, I just think it's more interesting. If I can go and create bobbleheads of my friends, uh, you know, in, in, in traditional garb, I think that's a little more interesting. Um, so, I, and the other question I have is, oh, yeah, the other question I have is basically, like, hey, if you have these designs, like, what's the next step between, um, okay, you've got these designs, now you actually wanna go and create products and sell those products online. Uh, let me know if you want me to do a whole video on that. 
Um, but I think that's also really interesting, right? Once you have the once you have this, okay, now like I want to go and like create a I want to actually go manufacture it. I want to actually go and set up a Shopify. Uh, and what does that look like? So let's see if this is any good. Um, it's got the hair, that's for sure. <laughs> it's your boy. It actually nailed the 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 long sleeve uh, sweater I was wearing. Um, it's that's hilarious. I think this is pretty pretty good. It's got the camera. Uh, I don't know. I might be biased, but because because it's me. Uh, but I do think that this is this is really good. Uh, please let me know. So that's overall. I think like that's gives us a good sense of this of the new image model in the blog post where OpenAI announces the new ChatGPT images. Uh, I noticed that they have some interesting things. So. Um, it says that the model excels at different type of editing, including adding, subtraction, com combining, blending, and transposing. So you get the changes you want without losing what what makes the image special. So happy that that's in there. Noticed it when I was prompting with it and doing those second and third types of prompts. Uh, creative transformations. The model's creativity shines through transformations that change and add elements like text and layout. Uh, to bring ideas to life while preserving important details. Also hilarious that they have an M dash in here. You know they use ChatGPT to write this copy. Um, so here you can see make an old school golden age Hollywood mover, movie poster called Codex from the image of these two men. Feel free to change the costumes. You can see what it looks like. And then instruction following. The model follows instructions more reliably than our initial version. This enables more precise edits as well as more intricate original compositions where relationships between elements are preserved as intended. Draw a six by six grid. Actually, let's look, let's look at the previous. Draw a six by six grid. Make six columns by six rows, a grid of a grid of all these things. Um, so you can just see, like, obviously the new one is just way, way better. Um, and it's actually following instructions. Which was kind of my intuition with it as well. Also better at text rendering. I know this is a issue that we've all we've all dealt with, where it's like, oh my god, it's ninety five percent there, but the way it's spelled, knowledge was with like a random T in the middle. Um, so uh, yeah, this is the blog post, and just thought it was interesting, and and uh, just pr you know, this is sort of things that I felt intuitively, but now that I'm reading the blog post. Uh, cool to see that it's official. Uh, what can I say? It beat my expectations. Um, you know, is it better than Nano Banana Pro? Um, I think it's as good, if not better, than Nano Banana Pro. So, ChatGPT new image model launch day. Uh, I hope you enjoy playing with it. Um, please let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe for more of these types of videos, for more startup ideas, for more tools that you should play with. I will never gatekeep. I'll always give you all of the sauce. That's for darn sure. And uh, I can't wait to see what you build.